Hello everyone, my name is Scott Lyon, I'm the Iowa City Fire Chief. Every October in the United States, we celebrate Fire Prevention Week and Fire Prevention Month. We have a special visitor with us today who has experienced a house fire. His name is Eric All, and he is the tight end with the Iowa Hawkeyes. Eric, you wanna tell us a little bit about your story? Yes, sir. So yeah, I was, I was in a house fire. I was five months old. I was just sleeping in my, in my crib back home in Indiana and a, a fire broke out somewhere in the house and I wasn't breathing when they found me. So they had to resuscitate me and uh, bring me back to life. And to remember everything from that, I have this big scar on my, on my hand and you know, thank God I'm here and playing at the great University of Iowa. I've had the opportunity to view the, the, the footage, Eric, from, from your event. And what, what I immediately noticed is a lot of smoke coming out of the window. What, one of the things that we really want everyone to remember is to, to make sure to close the door to your bedroom uh, when you fall asleep. So kind of close the door before you doze is, is a great message. The other thing that really stands out in the video of your event is, is that the firefighters were giving mouth to mouth and CPR to, to help save your life. How has that experience changed the, the way you, you function as, as an adult and as a football player? I just appreciate life and I just, every day I try to live life to the fullest and no matter what I'm going through, no matter, no matter what mood I'm in, I'm just always trying to do something the best of my ability, whether that's carrying a conversation with somebody, whether that's class, whether that's, you know, playing football. Well, we're so thankful that, that your fire situation worked out. Not everybody gets a second chance, and you're certainly making the most of your second chance. This year's theme for Fire Safety Week is cooking safety. I'd like to remind everyone to uh, make sure they're practicing good cooking safety habits. Make sure that handles are away from children who may grab the handles on pots and pans. And make sure that you, you uh, have a lid nearby in case a fire does break out and you could cover a pan with a lid to help extinguish the fire. Eric, as a father yourself, what advice could you give people to increase fire safety in their home? All I would ask for parents to do is to, you know, practice fire drills more often with their kids and always have two ways out. Well, that's great advice, Eric. And you know, hopefully the, this message reaches uh, many people and, and we all practice fire safety together much more effectively.